Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to write to a specific Excel sheet in Python. So here, for example, I have my Excel sheet which contains multiple sheets and I would like to target my data to a specific sheet. Let's say sheet number two or any one of them. If I would like to only write in the sheet number two, how to do that? We are going to focus in this video. So hope you remember and you have watched this video where I have shown you how do you write a data frame? So here we have created a dictionary and then we have written it to a sheet and this file path represents the entire sheet location. And using this video, we have written the data to the Excel, but the problem was it was omitting all the seats present in the Excel sheet and overwriting the data. Now to avoid it, this video, we are going to learn what are the new techniques we are going to implement to achieve the task of writing to a targeted sheet. So let's begin. I'm going to erase this line number 10 because anyways, we are not going to use the dot to Excel. Okay, data frame dot to Excel was creating the problem. Now let's see how to do it. Now for this, you must watch my videos where I have shown how to import open by Excel. Couple of my previous videos. So first of all, once you have done the installation of OpenPy Excel, then all you have to do simply write OpenPy Excel dot utilities. There is something called utilities dot data frame. So we are importing certain things from the library so that we, we can utilize in the code. Pretty simple. And here what I need, I want to use this data frame dot two rows for what? For the purpose of looping through the data so this data frame contains this data table right we are printing in the data table format so this contains multiple rows so to loop through this data i am using this particular library and this particular function data frame dot two uh, underscore two rows okay we also need one more thing called open by excel import I want to import the load workbook, even this we are using. So these are the three important things that you have to import before you begin your coding. Okay. Now let, let us understand what are this and how we can utilize it one by one. Okay. Now here I am going to create a variable called a equals to, and I remember the file path is being stored in this file path variable, right? This contains my entire location. Now I am I want it to get loaded temporarily to a variable. For that, I am using this load workbook, the function that we have imported here. See, we are using it here, and all I have to do is simply pass the file path. Now, just by doing what exactly happens, we need to understand. So, what happens by doing this load workbook? The file path contains the location of the Excel file. So it loads the Excel file temporarily temporarily in the memory getting it now why I have to have it on, in the memory because the memory is going to serve because the memory is going to serve me while I am trying to do some data manipulation okay in the Excel so here a what a represents remember this very important point a represents the entire excel sheet remember here when i'm loading the entire workbook to a a represents the entire sheet is it clear okay very good now let's move on after that the sheet can contain multiple different sheet names for example sheet 1 sheet 2 c3 c4, right it can contain multiple things i want to target a specific sheet let's say sheet number 3 let's take some sheet name so i'm going to create a variable called b equals to a is my entire excel i am using two square brackets and then saying hey now this b variable should represent sheet number 3 so what happened the b contained now sheet number 3 so b is going to represent the sheet number 3 entirely so let's print it and see okay what is coming in the b variable so always learn one by you know slow slowly go step by step and learn each of this line in a complete way okay now, for example, I'm going to print B. What is going to happen? Let's see that. 
So there are two different print functions. One is to print this data in the tabular format. It has printed. And the second print function is to print the B. So what it's saying? Print B means B represents the entire worksheet. So here in the Excel, I have the sheet 3. So B variable is going to represent the entire sheet. So this is clear. Okay. If this is clear, now the next things will be quite clear to you. Now let's move on. I want to loop through the data. So I will use a for loop and I'm using some variable. You can use any variable. I'm using R representing rows in this data. So there are how many rows? One, two, three, four, five rows, right? Okay. Five and the header is also there. Six rows are there. Okay. Now I want to loop through this. So for this, I'll be using the data frame two rows. That's why we have imported data frame two rows here. Now you understood. So I am looping through what I have to provide supply the uh, parameter, right? So the parameter is DF1. DF1 is nothing but this is the entire table. So I'm supplying it here. So let's see it when I'm going to print R, what's going to happen. So if I'm going to print R and I'm going to execute it, it's going to print each row one by one. If you see, it has printed the first row, ID, name, age, and there is something extra is also coming, none, none, okay? And then the index, the first row is printed 0, 1, 0, 1, A1. Then the second row, row got printed 1, 0, 2, B, C, 2, right? Like that, it has printed all the available rows. Now, I don't want this index number. Some none, none has come, right? I don't want them. Now, to avoid that, in the input here, I am going to say index equals to false. Those are index numbers. Okay, I don't want them. So I am saying index is equal to false. Now if I do so and run this again, what's going to happen? Now you have got a clear data. ID, three columns and then you have got column ID contains the ID numbers, name contains the names and age contains the. So we have got clear data now. Got it? Okay. Now this is not our goal. Our goal is to write it to the sheet number three. Now, before writing, ensure you have closed the Excel sheet if you have opened, okay? Because we are dealing with workbook and you cannot have your Excel sheet open. So, close your Excel sheet. So, once you are done with the Excel sheet, you know, once you have closed it, here B represents what? My sheet number 3 and my target is to write in the sheet number 3. So, I am going to use B dot, I am going to use a method called append. And what would I like to append? R. Append means adding into the data, right? Existing data. So, R. So if I do this and then remember because we are dealing with workbook, we have to save it. So how do you save it? Simply what represents your Excel sheet? Variable A. So I'll write A. Dot. I will use something, a method called save. And then the save requires a value. Okay. I need to pass some argument here. So that is nothing but your file path. So that means I'm saying, hey, A is the Excel file. You need to save as file path. The same in the same file path. If you want to save it in some other different file, you can try to modify it and see. Now, I want to save it in the same automated with Rakesh with the name sheet 3. So, I am going to supply this file path. Simple done. All I have to do now, execute and see if the data is getting written into what automated with Rakesh. Okay. So, which sheet we have targeted? Sheet number 3, right? So, sheet number 3 is blank now. Uh, yeah. So, the code has been executed. Let's go back. Let's refresh this. Come here. And if I go to sheet number 3, you can see the sheet number 3 has contained the required data. So this is how you can target where to write. So let's recap what are the things we have learned till now. So what we have done, we have imported three things, pandas, and then we have imported data frame to rows to loop through, and we have used load workbook to load the load into the variable, the entire file. Okay, so here we have loaded. So first of all, is there is a dictionary we have created. The dictionary, uh, you know, we are transferring the dis transforming the dictionary into a data frame variable pd dot data frame, and then we have printed it, which appeared properly, nicely, and then we have got a file path, and we are mentioning where is the targeted file path, and then we have created a, a variable. The a variable we are loading the entire Excel file into the a variable temporarily into the memory. And then we have created a B variable where I am saying out of the all the sheets you are you are going to represent only the sheet 3. So B contains sheet 3. We understood this. Then we have used a loop through for which we have used the data frame dot two rows function which we have imported earlier. So here I am going to loop through. I have looped through the 
data frame object which is df1 which contains my entire table and then i'm said index equals to false because i don't need the index numbers then all I have done b dot append and written the r so each row is getting written every time once the loop is getting finished i am saving that file providing the file path argument getting it so this is how the entire design has been done and final output we have got so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye